Okay, in part D and part E, we're going to use the answers from the table that we generated in part C. And there's the table that I've lifted from part C. So this is the same as 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.8. Okay, so part D, that the probability of the sample is more than 0 0.7. So probability that P hat is bigger than 0 0.7, which will be 0.8 and 1. So it's going to have these two values added together. 0 0.2554 plus 0 0.0511. That's going to give you 56030. 0 0.3065 should be that answer. Okay, and then in part E, find the probability of 0 p hat 0 0.7, which equals the probability of p hat being bigger than or equal to 1 fifth, up to less than or equal to 3 fifths, which should be this one plus this one plus this one, 0 0.3973. 0 0.2384 plus 0 0.0542, which gives 0 0.6899, and hence find this. So what are we after there? We're after the probability that p hat is less than 0 0.7, given that p hat is bigger than 0. So probability that p hat is less than or equal to three fifths, given p hat is bigger than or equal to one fifth, because I can't include those endpoints. So it's a probability that p hat goes from one fifth to three fifths over the probability that p hat is bigger than or equal to one fifth. So one fifth to three fifths are those three numbers, which is this value. That's why it's a hence question. 0 0.6899 divided by everything except this one. So 0 0.9963. Sorry, 9964. Which equals uh, 0.69. 6-0.